Today we're going to review part number 845476UC3, this is dash EZ. This is the Dexter trailer hub and drum assembly for 3,500 pound easy lube axles with the 514 and 3 quarter inch bolt pattern. Now this trailer hub and drum assembly will fit on easy lube axles with electric or hydraulic brakes. It includes everything shown here, the bearings, the bearing races which are already pre-installed into the assembly themselves the double lip grease seal, the easy lube grease cap, and the lug nuts. This is designed to go on an easy lube axle and basically that easy lube design will make lubricating your bearings very simple. Basically what you would do after this is all installed and you have your cap installed, what you do is remove this rubber plug which is right in the middle of the cap here and that will give you full access to that grease zerk fitting that is on the end of a spindle on an easy lube axle. So with that exposed, you can put your grease gun onto that zerk fitting, pump up, pump in your grease, and that would lubricate your bearings so you don't have to be taking your hub and drum assembly off your axle. You can do it without removing the hub and drum. Again, the application, this fits on the 3,500-pound Easy Lube axles with electric or hydraulic brakes. The drum dimension is measured here on the inside, the 10-inch diameter by 2 and a quarter inches wide. So just to give you an idea here, Measure the inside, you can see there's the 10 inch diameter, inside to inside, and then the two and a quarter, we'll just put the tape on there, you can see two and a quarter inches for the width. So basically this will fit on any brake assembly that is measured as 10 by two and a quarter inches. Now the bolt pattern on this is five on four and three quarters. The wheel studs are a half inch diameter. The capacity on this one assembly is 1,750 pounds, so when you combine this with the other hub and drum assembly on the other side of the axle, it will give you your 3,500 pound weight capacity. Now the bearings it comes with, the inner bearing, which is the larger of the two, is L68149. And you can see here's the inner race that's already pre-installed onto the hub and drum. So your inner bearing would fit right onto that race. You take your double lip grease seal, you put that in there and then you'd have to tap that in so it's a press fit, holds everything into place. Then you go to the front and again you'll see your outer bearing race already pre-installed in there. Take your outer bearing which is part number L44649, that would drop right in there and with that in there then you'd slide this on, your hub would come or your spindle would stick through, you'd put your washer and nut on, tighten it down correctly and then you just tap in your grease cap and again, I mentioned that's an easy lube grease cap. And just to show you what I was talking about, as you can see, there's this rubber plug that you can just pull out. And with it installed, it'll give you full access to that grease circ fitting on an easy lube spindle. <clears throat> also comes with the five half inch lug nuts right here. The lug nuts are used once everything's installed. And you're going to put your wheels and tires back on. Then you'll go ahead and tighten those down by using these half inch lug nuts and torque them to the correct torque specs. That should do it for the review on part number 845476UC3-EZ, the Dexter trailer hub and drub assembly for 3,500 pound easy lube axles with the 5 on 4 and 3 quarter inch bolt pattern.